Okay, so there was a question about this assignment in the bookwork, and so I thought I would just walk through a couple of the steps to help you all get a good start on it. So um, first off, we're supposed to select the red nail polish. Oh, I'm sorry. First, you're actually supposed to make a copy. So make a copy of the polishes layer and call this layer red, where did it go? Red polish. So then I'm going to actually make the selection. Um, for time's sake, I'm going to go quick. So I expect you all to look better than how mine's probably going to turn out since I'm doing this quick just for a video. So I'm using the magnetic lasso tool just to go around the object and it wants us to have the nail polish and the cap. That's good enough for this demo. Give you all an idea of what we're doing. Perfect. Okay, so I now have my nail polish selected and I need to get rid of everything else on this layer. So uh, I'm going to select inverse and just hit my backspace or delete key, which will get rid of everything else on that layer and so now you see that it's separate. Okay the next step is to hide the red polish layer and make the polishes layer active. To do that we're just going to hit the eyeball right here and then to make the polishes layer active that means you just click on that polishes layer. So I'm going to create a layer mask that hides the red polish then reveal the remaining items on the polishes layer if necessary. So I actually still have my selection made so I can just come in here and select inverse. Um, I'm going to look at this mask and I think that there's a little bit more I need to select so I'm just going to click up here on my refine edge and see if I can get it to be a little more accurate for the sake of deleting out some of this information. Close enough. For y'all, um, y'all might have to go back around your object and actually uh, edit it out with like your polygonal lasso tool or your eraser, but really to do that you just click around this area here. So now that I have this made, I can click here on the mask. Oh, I'm sorry. Select inverse and then mask this layer to where that's not showing. We can see that this actually has some information here that I need to get rid of still. So I'm going to come in with the paintbrush on and you can see that the mask is selected, not the layer, so the mask is selected. I'm going to paint in here. Um, I hit something. Sorry. Okay, mask is selected. I'm going to actually come in, paint in here with the black, and that will add this to my mask. So you can see it working. Um, I might just bring up my opacity to make sure it's 100 so it's a little crisper. You can see what it's doing here, though. That's not what I want. And so I'm going to clean this up just a bit. So the book does say that you're able to use any of the tools we've gone over so far. So that's quite a few different tools at this point. Let's see. So we have gotten rid of this nail polish and um, use any tools at your disposal to fix the area. So here's the area we need to fix. I'm going to create a new layer and um, make the polishes layer live and I'm going to use my clone stamp mm, maybe I'm trying to decide if there's an easier way to show y'all well, I can use my clone stamp and actually click alt 
and recreate some of this. So I could click Alt like here, go to my new layer, and add in information. And I'm constantly hitting Alt to click with my viewfinder to make a new selection. And then following that little check to make sure that I'm getting the information correctly. So you can see I'm using the blending tools that we're using in project or in this unit, in the animal hybrid unit to actually recreate that. Now I need to create this section. So I want to take this information and pull it down there. So back to the polishes layer so I can pull information from that layer. And I'm going to start by kind of adding that in. And kind of hoping it blends. But you can see that the nail polish, even though it's masked, is showing up. But that's okay because we can actually kind of fix that now. I'm on the wrong layer. I'm sorry guys. Make sure you keep the right layer active while doing this. So you can see that I've already kind of replaced part of the information of the bowl. I can also come in here and like this was extra information that I didn't need. I can actually select it and just backspace delete it. And I hit command or control D to deselect at that point. So helpful. Again, put that information and just kind of blend it. So that's how, I mean, it's not going to look perfect. This is a demo for the bookwork and the bookwork is just trying to help you all learn different techniques. So that's how you'll be getting rid of that section there and making it to where your nail polish is no longer sitting here. So now let's move on. Okay, so the next step would be that we need to make the polishes layer alive. So click on your polishes layer and come in here and we're going to get rid of this polish because that's where the red polish is going to go. So I'm again with my magnetic lasso tool. It's very quick, painless. I'm gonna come around this little dude. And again, for the sake of Time. I'm going to go pretty quick with this. Y'all can take a little longer and make y'all look even better if you'd like to. And so I'm just going to go around the edge. Okay, so this selection is pretty close to what we're wanting. And so we're going to do the exact same thing we just did with the red polish. We're going to, um, well, first, we're going to mask this part of our layer so we can click on our mask and actually just paint this in with black. Whoa, look at that, it's gone. So now, um, that, now that we've masked this off, I'm gonna click Command D, and I can actually see up here, there's some little places I want to get rid of as well that I missed with my selection. I can just paint that in with my paintbrush. Keep in mind that the black paintbrush adds to your mask, the white paintbrush takes away. So if I had white, it would come back. So we're going to now make the red polish layer visible. We're going to pull it, oh, I have the wrong layer selected, sorry guys. Pull it over here behind our other polishes. Probably like here. And I'm going to send it behind our polishes layer. So now you can see that that's along the lines of what they're wanting us to get. At this point you're doing exactly what we did with this section over here. You'll make a new layer and you'll just with the cloning stamp tool recreate the parts of the bowl that are missing. You can even do so by putting the layer behind our red nail polish layer. Coming up here with 
the clone stamp tool making a selection, say right here, and making sure you're on the correct layer and making it live. Feed that information directly into there. And here as well. It's not perfect, but it's on the road to being more believable and cleaner. So again, you do the same thing down here with the red polish. And you're wanting to make sure this layer is behind the red nail polish because it will feed in behind the information here and make it to where it won't interfere with our selection we made before. So, I hope that helps. Um, at this point, you'd be able to clean it up yourself and make these areas more believable, but that's pretty much what the book is asking us to do. Thanks, let me know if you have any more questions.